Last week here on the channel, I actually uploaded a video talking about the new best way to go ahead and get combat XP. Since then, I've been informed by some of my sweatiest friends that I know, such as Eelman, as well as a few others, about this method where you basically grind floor 6. Today, we're going to be talking about that method and how you can actually get upwards of 1.8 million combat XP per hour. You heard that right. It's actually insane. I can't believe that this method actually works. It's kind of cracked and it is very tough. I'm going to warn you guys, I struggle to do this method on a regular basis, but I'm going to be doing my best to describe the way that they do it so that if you do have the right materials and the right weapons and armor, then you can actually go ahead and use this method yourself. Before we get fully underway here, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. We are getting super close to 70,000 subscribers and my goal is to hit 100k before the end of the year. So by you guys subscribing, it would mean the absolute world to me. It helps me out more than you know, and I appreciate everyone who has subscribed recently. And without further ado, we're going to jump straight into this one. Before we go ahead and hop into a run, let me do my best to explain what you're about to witness. So basically, for this to work, you need about two or three members in your party, and you're going to be doing floor six runs. Floor six has the terracottas. In my opinion, one of the most tedious floors to do, but when further looked upon, it actually gives some of the most combat XP here on the server. The terracottas give a ton of XP. The giants at the end of the boss fight give over 5,000 combat XP each, as well as if you clear out the blood room, you also get about 20k combat XP from that as well. And so when you can shrink this down to about five minute runs, you can get upwards of 1.8 million XP per hour. And I've seen some other people who have actually gotten over two million combat XP in an hour. It's kind of insane. So the job of two people is to go ahead and do their best to clear out the dungeon. There's going to be one player who is an archer and preferably with boomerangs just so they can handle the terracottas and the golems and the giants at the end in the uh, boss fight. And so the two clears will go in, they'll clear the dungeon, and while one person is rushing blood, that's going to be the person getting all the combat XP. And we're going to be doing our best to clear our way so that they can have some blessings once we go into the boss fight. And once we get there, I'll do my best to explain a little bit more. So currently we are in our first floor six run. Basically, we're just going to do the entire clearing process, get to the uh, boss, and then uh, I'll cut back then. So yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, they're coming. I'm killing oh, a couple. No. I don't care. Oh, no. Listen, no, they killed me. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Wow, My guy looks playing. so weird with both of your red names and then dead next to red names. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, only one of them has a red name, if you are. Uh, yeah, totally yeah. not being carried. Let me just look back dude. here. Uh, <laughs> where does most got... of the combat XP come from, Eelman? Is it from giants, the golems? The terracottas. I, terracottas, really. I would say the terracottas. How, how, much, how much XP are you getting per terracotta? 561.6. Really? Okay, that's actually pretty yeah. crazy. Experience with the Viking Steer and the uh, Combat 3 block. Yeah. So, like, I splash experience and drink Combat 3. And then, uh, don't the uh, Giants give a good amount of Combat XP as well? Oh, yeah, they give 5,616. That was only 6. And, that, and that's without Wolf Pet. Yeah, jeez. So, it says experience gained 135,600 times. From this run? Yeah. No way. It varies. Yeah, I was gonna say for you right now it says 2.758 million per hour. Yeah, it does. Oh, I shot it early. Yeah, there you go. Jeez. Uh... Currently on your screen, you are actually seeing Eelman's footage. Eelman is the player who I was playing with in my dungeon runs tonight. He's also the one who kind of showed me this combat XP method. I've heard about it before, but he's the one who really brought it to my eyes, kind of saying, hey, listen, it's actually better than than you think. And so uh, he, he definitely wasn't wrong. So as you can see here, he just completed the uh, blood room. So now he's on to the boss fight. There's me. I'm about to go and uh, just stand in the portal and let myself die so that he can take care of the rest. Um, something that's going to be really helpful about Yeoman's footage here is firstly, he's going to show us uh, what he does with all the phases here, kind of just the movement, as you can see, just absolutely destroying all the terracottas in this one row here. Also, something that's going to be very helpful is in the top left, that little red text, it will actually tell us how much combat XP he's going to be getting roughly per hour. It's also going to be showing us how much combat XP he's gotten in this run so far. And so after the blood room, it was at about 9,000 combat XP. And right now it is already up to nearly 70,000. That is just from taking care of the golems as well as the terracottas. The golems give a large boost. The terracotta, in Eel's opinion, actually give the most boost um, there. So just a little cut now and here we are. He is at over 100,000 combat XP so far. Um, I decided to cut out quite a bit of the terracotta phase. I mean, I think you guys get the point. He runs around, kills the terracottas. Um, it's, it's such a long process. I really don't understand 
understand why the Terracotta phase isn't is time locked and why it's not just if you kill them all you can move on but that's something I'll never know as you can see here now he is taking care of the giants these also give over 5,000 combat XP each so just from killing these four he got about 22k combat XP which is insane and uh, all that's left now is to wait for Sedan to spawn in and then he can kill him so as you can see in the top left though I believe that says 130,000 combat XP and as you can see the rate of combat XP that he can achieve in per hour at this rate is 2.1 million obviously there's downtime in between dungeons and so he has found that he is consistently able to get around 1.7 1.8 sometimes even 1.9 million combat XP and so as you can see here now he's going to shred through sedan and uh that's the run that's that's all there is to it and then you get your chests as you can see it was just a b because you you rush through the rest of the run as fast as you can and you get to the boss and uh and yeah you just do it for the combat xp this is great for leveling up pets as well as a bunch of other things so just from blood room we were actually able to get our hands on nearly 10,000 combat xp which is pretty cool uh pc going just gonna let them know that we're going through so basically what's going to happen here is my teammates eelman and beescape are going to take off their armor and kind of let themselves die um i need to try and solo this do i do golems first that's what i want to know so my job is to solo um do i do the golems first no okay i don't i don't okay so Okay, that is a lot of- I just heard a lot of dings. Okay, apparently it's actually decently hard to kind of keep yourself alive. So I'm going to be doing my best to. Oh yeah, that's actually cracked. I died. I actually died. No. <laughs> so I'm not going to lie. That was a lot harder to pull off than I had originally entailed um, or what I was told about. That was quite difficult. This is going to be very tough for a lot of people to do. But once you can actually master the way you use boomerangs as well as clearing through those floor sixes as fast as possible, when you can get down to about five minute runs and continuously not die in that final section, you can be making a ton of combat XP. And the reason why this can be really good is you can actually level up pets as well as get to combat skill level 50. And you can actually flip pets like buy level one level them up to level 100 and make a ton of profit from that so those are a few options that you can do with this method obviously this isn't for everyone even for myself i don't even think i'm quite there yet but as soon as i am i'm going to be making sure that i take care of it and actually use it to my advantage i have a lot of combat pets i want to level up and this could be a great way to actually do so i have a lot of work to do in terms of making sure i don't die as quickly as i did there but i think i'm up for the challenge either way hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys did make sure to smash a like on it subscribe channel if you guys are new around here leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy i think i already said that either way thank you guys so much for watching take care and peace out